presenting the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. These thrilling adventures come to you as they are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, now printed in 32 tabloid-sized pages, each page in full four colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. For the benefit of those who may not have heard the earlier episodes, let us explain that Flash Gordon, the internationally famous American athlete, and Dale Arden, his beautiful American sweetheart, and Dr. Zarkoff, the well-known scientist, were thrown onto the new planet Mongo when their experimental rocket ship crashed. After a series of adventures with the Emperor Ming the Merciless and his beautiful daughter Aura, who fell deeply in love with Flash, the two Americans, together with Dr. Zarkoff, soon Prince of the Lion Men, and Prince Baron, were sentenced to the prison city of the Hawkmen. There, the men were tortured, while King Voltan, mighty ruler of the Hawkmen, made plans to marry Dale. Flash and his companions escaped from the torture chambers, and Flash found Dale in time to save her from the marriage. But they were trapped by soldiers and again fell into Voltan's hands. Then there was a terrible rumbling sound. The floor started to tip. The walls began to crack open, and the lights went out. Now we continue the story. In the crumbling palace of Voltan, amid the shouts of the disorganized guards, Flash and Dale break away, but the mighty king flies into the air and hurling himself on Flash, drags him to the floor and prepares to execute him by his own hand. Meanwhile, Dr. Zarkov and Prince Baron are rushing toward the throne room. My scheme worked, Baron. Now to drive our bargain with Voltan if we are not too late. With the light beams diffusing at the present rate, friend Zarkov, the city will remain in midair only for another half hour. If Voltan will listen to us, there is enough time. But we must not wait some minutes. Ah, here we are at the throne room. Look. Voltan has his sword at Flash Gordon's throat. Stop! Stop! Wait! Hey, who dares give me orders? I do. I can save your city. But if you harm Flash Gordon, I'll doom this city and all of you hawkmen to destruction. But all my radium's gone. You destroyed that yourself. How can you save us? Prince Baden and I have been experimenting with other atom rays. <laughs> experimenting? Enough of this. I should have killed Flash Gordon but for your arrival and bluff. Now I shall finish the job. Oh, Flash, my darling. Be brave, Dale. This big windbag is bluffing now. Bluffing, am I? I'll show you. Listen to what you fat fool. Your city will remain suspended. Only 20 minutes more. There is no time to waste. What do you think you can do to save the city, you wizard? We have found a way to make new light beams to hold the city safely suspended in the air. What kind of trick is this? It's no trick. Then let us see what you propose to do. But what? I will save your city on one condition. You know when to drive a bargain, old wizard of the earth. Very well. Flash Gordon shall go free if you save my city. You must also free Dale and Zarkov and Baron. Absolutely. Be quick, Bolton. The precious minutes are flying. Give us your answer. I'll pardon you all if my city is saved. Good. Then follow me. Where are you going to take us? Into this private elevator first. Where are we going, Dr. Rocker? Baron and I discovered a room under the hall of atom furnaces which had been stored with scientific apparatus. With the help of slaves, we constructed my newest invention, the Dindui Baron. Yes, we did, friend Zarkov. I only hope this bull-headed monarch hasn't delayed us too long with this arguing. There isn't much time left to save the city. We're tipping over. How much further do we have to descend? We will be below the foundation in a moment. What is this remarkable discovery, Wizard of the Earth? Mm, you shall see. You shall see. We're here. Hurry out, everyone. Hold fast to my hand, Dale. Oh, Flash, do you think Dr. Zarkov will be able to save us? I know he'll do his best. There is my invention. What is that mass of tubes and wires? This electrical machine is an atomic light solidifier. It will strengthen the beam? Yes. Uh, keep everybody back, Baron. I must have room to work. Stand back, everybody. Baron, do you think this machine will work? Quiet. Professor Zarkov is throwing the switch. What is that weird bluish light? The new ray is made by the atom sail. Why, the city seems to be getting back on an even keel. Why, oh, so it is. How is it working, friend Zarkov? Splendid so far. The light beams supporting the city are becoming stronger and stronger. And the city is saved. The city is saved. By yeah. oh, he's done it. All of you are free. My goodness, you're crying. I'm so happy we're saved. Zarkov, come here. He said he could do it, and he did. 
Yes, King Gultan, you summon me? Zarkov, you shall be my head scientist. Gultan, this is more than I expect. I am grateful, deeply grateful and appreciative of the honor. Flash and Dale? Yes, impressive majesty. What is it, King Gultan? As proof of our future friendship, I shall give you a royal wedding tomorrow. And tonight, <laughs> we shall have a banquet to celebrate it. Having a good time, Dale? Wonderful time, Flash. It hardly seems possible that we should be married tomorrow. I don't dare believe it until we are actually being married. You mustn't feel that way, Dale. It's just nerves. Well, my friend, tomorrow will be the big day. I'm not so sure. Dale is just worrying about nothing, madam. Hmm, it's almost tomorrow, Dale. What can happen now? During the excitement of the second destruction of the city, the princess aura disappeared. Oh, oh is that all that worries you? I should think you'd be glad she's not here. I am. <laughs> well, lovebirds, are you enjoying yourselves? Oh, yes. Thank you, Impressive Majesty. Majesty! Majesty! Eh? Hey, what is it? The air fleet of Ming the Merciless is approaching the city. Ming the Merciless? Oh, 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 this goodness. means trouble. What did I tell you? There'll be no wedding for us tomorrow. We'll die fighting. No, Bolton. Let us take our chances on escaping. Give us a rocket ship. No use, lad. They were damaged when the city killed it. Majesty, Emperor of Mongo, King the Merciless. And Princess Aura, now there will be trouble. Steady, Dale, darling. There'll be a way out of this. Greeting and welcome, Emperor Ming. So, Bosan, you have become friends with the prisoners. Turn over this earth man to my torturer. And to me, deliver my promised bride, Dale Arden. I command it. No, Father. You promised Flash Gordon to me as my share of the spoils. Bold men. By the ancient laws of Mongo, by the sacred laws of the great cow, who is all wise, I call for a tournament of death. A tournament? And this fellow Flash Gordon would enter? Yes. Fine spot. A tournament. And all the planet will see him fail and die. So be it. Between four mountains nestles a mammoth bowl-shaped arena, toward which most of Mongo pours in never-ending streams. It is the day of the start of the Tournament of Death, in which all of the contestants but one will meet death. And Flash Gordon is going to enter. He and Dale occupy seats of honor in Voltan's box. Princess Aura enters the arena on a golden throne carried by six blue dragon men. Here comes Aura in all her glory. Wild, treacherous, and cruel. <laughs> but my boy, he's a beauty. Oh, I don't know about that. Here comes Jugrid, king of the lion men. The dragon men are frightened by the lions. They've dropped the princess. Oh, stay where you are, my boy. Prince Baron is already picking her up. She seems to be smiling at him. I wonder what... Baron, you have saved my life. Why did you do it after the way I treated you? Because, my princess, you are a woman, a beautiful woman, and I can no longer deny the fact that I love you. But whatever it is he's saying, I wish he'd get interested in somebody else and leave you alone, Flash. The tournament is about to begin, Flash. There's your horse. Here. Take this sword, my boy. It's the one with which I became king of the Hawkmen. Take it and justify my faith in you. And my faith, too. Thanks, darling. And thank you, both of them. I'll do my best. In another box, Prince Baron reaches a decision. Zarkov, I'm going to enter the tournament, win back my kingdom, and Ming's daughter, Princess Aura, for my bride. Do not be a fool, Prince Baron. Why run the risk of being killed? Wish me luck, my friend. I go to do battle. The battle royal with every horseman for himself. As the fight rages around him, Flash is beset by two yellow guardsmen. He vanquishes one, and as he is attacked by the other, he falls from his horse. Before the yellow man can drive home a death thrust, 
masked fighter saves Flash, and the first great test of the Tournament of Death ends. A banquet is held for the survivors. Are you sure you're all right, Flash? I of course they are. If it hadn't been for that masked fighter, you would be dead now. Oh, why did you enter this horrible tournament? To win freedom, a kingdom, and what's more important, you. My dear. Look, the masked fighter is with Princess Aura. Ah, the masked champion. Are you a criminal fearing arrest or a noble fearing recognition? Blue blood or red, my lady? will flow in the arena just as freely for your amusement. Yes, wear the scarf as a token, but do not stain it with your blood. Fair lady, a kiss from your gorgeous lips, and I would face the legions of Tau. Insolent one. <laughs> I'll have you tortured. Who can punish the living dead of the tournament? Goodbye, you beautiful devil. I go to fight for your hand. That masked champion. I swear I know his voice. The call has sounded. I must go back to the fight. Goodbye, Dale. Goodbye, and good luck, my darling. Oh, King Wilton, when will this awful turn end? I know it seems horrible to you, little bird. But it is better that Flash should die honorably in the field of battle than at the hands of Ming's torturers. Wins this final event, he will be a king. <laughs> and you will be his queen. The trumpets blow on the last contestant's lineup. Two by two, they mount the sky rope stretched over a flaming pool to joust with swords. And one after another, they are eliminated by death. Finally, only Flash Gordon and the masked champion are left. Flash loses his balance and falls down toward the flaming pool. But his hands catch hold of the rope and he hangs on. The masked champion, thrown off balance, also falls, but saves himself by grasping Flash Gordon's leg. His mask falls off, revealing Prince Baron. The crowd demands that both men shall live, and they are brought before Voltan and Smite Ming the Merciless. None of your trickery, Ming. Proclaim them both kings. So be it. But I shall choose their kingdoms. To Prince Baron and my daughter Aura, I give the kingdom of the forest to Flash Gordon and the Earth Girl. I give the kingdom of the cave. You fiend. You know neither kingdom has been conquered. True, Voltan. But these are brave men. Let them try. They can hold their weddings in their own kingdoms if they live that long. <laughs> What will happen to Flash Gordon when he attempts to rule over the unconquered kingdom of the cave? You'll know next week at the same time when he'll be back with another chapter of the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon. And by the way, what is your favorite picture feature? Bringing up Father, Skippy, the Cat and Yama Kid, the Little King, Mickey Mouse? Or if you like thrills, then Ace Drummond or Jungle Jim, Radio Patrol or Red Barry. But no matter whatever your favorite... You'll find it next Sunday in the big 32-page Comic Weekly, along with Toots and Casper, Tilly the Toiler, Little Annie Rooney, Tim Tyler's Luck, and many others. For the big 32-page Comic Weekly brings you each Sunday the funniest merrymakers and the most daring adventurers in the world of pictures. Be sure to get your copy of the Comic Weekly next Sunday with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And listen for the amazing interplanetary adventures of Flash Gordon next week on this station. Music.